Hi, my name is Alex Thornton, and I'm taking computer science and software engineering. For the past couple of days, I've been working on a project using Arduino. On the right of my screen, you can see that uh, there are many things, including wires, the Arduino board, and our actual Arduino. But the main focus of my project was these uh, was these LEDs, which are uh, lighting from back and forth. I do th I did this with the program off the uh, left, which creates two for loop iterations, one going from the lowest pin to the highest, and then the, from the highest to the lowest. This allows the LEDs to light up in a linear fashion, so it's going just in one straight line back and forth. And uh, I did this, or it did this because we didn't want it just to be like kind of like a loop where it loops back around from automatically this, or the highest pin to the lowest pin. There was many struggles I had and many accomplishments too during this project. Uh, one of the biggest struggles that I had was the sketch for this project not matching up with the program because I got the sketch and program from two different sources they didn't match up completely so I had to change a bunch of the different wires and uh, pin or pins around because because the it didn't match up with the code and I also had to change a little bit of the code so that way the pins would just match with what I had on the put on the board and although this was a bit of a problem to start with. It wasn't really too bad once I got past it. Uh, some of the major accomplishments I had, though, uh, one of the biggest things was, or that I've struggled with before, is I haven't been able to get the right parts automatically off the first hand. Whether that's because these aren't the right ones, uh, there's not enough of them, uh, if they don't work properly. But this time I didn't really have a problem with that, and I was able to get all the parts, all the different wires, LEDs, resistors, without really too much of a problem. And I was able to do this uh, by checking it all with an ohm resistor. So I was able to make sure that we had each one of the resistors was at uh, 200. And then I was able to check each one of the LEDs and ensure that they're working. Which obviously they are because of the video you can see right here. But just before I started the project, I guess make sure that they all worked before I got building. So... It's kind of hard to tell from the video, but my project does complete a circuit because it goes from the board and the power to the wires over here and then to the LEDs and it creates kind of like a circle because it uh, connects back and forth in between the boards and or from the Arduino board to the breadboard from the wires and LEDs and it creates just a loop where all of them are just continuously keep going going and going thank you for watching my video